Most of us have heard about the Loch Ness Monster and the mysterious Yeti roaming down the snowy slopes. But what about other creatures seen by many people that we still have a hard time explaining? Let's explore some strange creatures that might actually exist among us. On December 29th, 1953, a dog was found dead in Clarkton. Witnesses said a creature that was sleek, black, and about 5 feet long killed it. Just two days later, two other dogs were found dead. The dogs were torn to ribbons and crushed. A day later, another two dogs were found dead. One of them was half eaten. A day passes and again a dog is killed. On January 3rd, another dog was found dead but this one was autopsied. They found that not even three drops of blood was left inside the animal. The ears had been gnawed off and the tongue was chewed off. Over the next few days, multiple other animals from rabbits to goats were found dead, each with similar injuries. Multiple residents reported seeing a creature at least 4 feet in length, 150 pounds, and resembling a panther or a bear mix. A large hunt was assembled to find this creature, and over the span of a week, they tried locating it. In the end, on January 13th, a pair of hunters killed a bobcat and said it was the creature that killed all the dogs. Many of the people do not believe this claim as the bobcat was very small and would have had to have some injuries from attacking dogs, but this one had none. These creatures, also known as forest people, are said to inhabit the Wukong Nature Reserve. In 1947, a French colonist saw this creature while walking along the forest path and named it Wild Man. In 1971, two tribesmen said they captured two of the said wild men. A few years later, in 1982, a professor working at Pedagogic University said he found footprints measuring 28 by 16 centimeters, which he attributed to the wild men. A photo of the cast was published in the 14 News of the World. In the show Destination Truth, a team go to Vietnam to research Batut. Interestingly, they also find large human-like footprints, which they bring back to the US. Jeffrey Meldrum, a noted Bigfoot researcher and anthropologist said it was a significant discovery and that it was one of the best pieces of evidence he has seen. The meaning of Aswang is from Sanskrit, meaning demon, and is said to be one of the most feared creatures in the Philippines in the 16th century. This creature is described as a shape-shifting monster with traits of a vampire and a ghoul. Because they are shapeshifters, their appearance can vary greatly. At night, they transform into creatures such as bats, crows, boars, or even a large black dog. It's said that they eat unborn fetuses and small children, especially taking the time to enjoy livers and hearts. They are fast and silent, though it's said that they make a tick tick sound to scare their prey. Interestingly, they are usually in their human form during the day and only change forms at night. Their bloodshot red eyes is said to scare any prey before they rip apart a body. In 1917, a Swiss geologist led an expedition to search for petroleum along the border of Colombia and Venezuela. The expedition was unsuccessful and many of his group got sick and died. Of the 20 members, only 4 survived. While they were camping, two large creatures approached them. Initially, they assumed it was bears. However, they noted that the creatures looked more like monkeys. The creatures then began to throw feces at them and started to howl. One of the members shot one of the creatures while the other one ran back into the forest. They realized the creature was not something usual as it was 1.57 meters tall, far taller than a spider monkey which they initially assumed it was. They took a picture of the creature and then skinned it so that they can keep the skull and the hide. The other creature had not been seen since, though the picture taken still survives to this date. Thank you so much for watching and please subscribe for future content.